Hi, Scorpio. All right, let's do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. All right, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio. Overall energy, the Two of Wands, the World, the Hierophant, the Nine of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Three of Coins. Maybe wanting to choose something different, choose something or somebody new. I have a King of Wands under the deck. Oh, there's somebody here who has a lot of passion for you, Scorpio. Maybe a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We also have Capricorn energy there. Someone might be sad. Might be thinking about the past. Okay. We also have Taurus, Pisces. Choosing something new, a new way to do something. This one may be sad. Yeah. Okay, same energy. Like I say, what's under the deck a lot of times is what's coming in, what's coming in the reading. Somebody has been thinking about you a lot, Scorpio, or dreaming about you. I feel like someone's going to do something different and be honest, be more truthful, open up. Maybe also someone is making a decision about something else and they're going to do, you know, make some sort of change with the Two of Wands. But they seem pretty sure about this with the Ace of Swords. Occasionally, the Ace of Swords can also remind me or tell me that there is a, a possible uh, reunion with someone, reconciliation. But it doesn't have to be. But someone's definitely missing you with the Five of Cups. Okay, someone likes thinking about you too. Somebody likes being around you. Yeah, there's a lot of passion there. Past life relationship, past life soulmate, and a soulmate, yeah. So, all right. <clears throat> they may be more open with you. What is this Ace of Wands? The attraction is very strong. If this is a newer person that you're around, yeah. I feel they'll be more open, talking more to you. They're happy to see you. They're happy when, when you walk in the door. If you like this to see you work together or go to the gym together or something. Um, they just enjoy seeing you. They feel like the two of you get along very well, the three of coins. They may feel like you're very fun or flirty. Some of you may have long hair and they may like your hair. What is the king of wands energy here? It could be an air sign. Maybe this connection has been kind of hot and cold. Maybe they're afraid to show you how they feel because they don't know how you feel about them. So they can kind of turn into that eight, King of Swords, Seven of Cups energy. What is this Ace of Swords star? They want to they want to definitely pursue this with you. Under the deck is Justice. We got Libra energy. So on their mind is the Two of Cups, Love. So th yeah, they've been holding back. So what I'm thinking here is someone's been trying to figure figure you out, Scorpio. Whether you guys have been like, you know, dating or separated or whatever the situation is, you're not really showing, oh, I think, a whole lot of like, like you're not showing a whole lot. They're trying to figure you out, which is very obviously Scorpio. If this is something where it's a friendship or any sort of relationship, they are missing you with the Five of Cups. Feeling very sad here. What is this Four of Coins? Why are they thinking about you? Oh, they feel stuck. Okay, so basically this is saying that someone has been stuck in their emotions, whatever the reason they want to come out of that. They want to speak their truth with the Ace of Swords. They like to be around you. Uh, the sex is probably good. They What is this devil energy? If, if you've had it, maybe if, depending on where you're at in the connection. Devil. Yeah, they find you very attractive, very sexy. Again, you guys seem very compatible. Some of you are definitely Sagittarius cuspers. Uh, or you may just have a lot of fire in your chart. So, so I'm kind of getting, someone could be curious about you. If it's a new person, they're curious about you. If it's a past person, they've been thinking about you a lot and missing you. Well, they've been thinking about you no matter who they are. What does Scorpio need to know? Gratitude. So being thankful right now, being having gratitude is your message. Okay. One more for Scorpio. Enjoy. Be thankful. Things could be getting lighter and easier with those who coming out together. Also, if you're manifesting things and you feel like they're not coming in or it's not working just be thankful for what you have that always tells me that your manifestations are coming in a spirit just wants to see that you're thankful for what it's already in your life what else does scorpio need to know date so go out and set a date with this person they want to date you it says new phase rekindle renew transformation and love i feel like this is a very strong connection here very passionate is this going to last? Do you see this being a lasting connection? Page of Wands, Four of Wands. Yeah, they could be talking about a future together, maybe even getting married. 
because over here maybe they're sad about being like you you're in another relationship or something if you are to the five of cups sad about work having to work so much ace of cups maybe they miss you maybe they haven't seen you lately scorpio what does scorpio need to know they're saying go slow there's oh go slow because there's a lot of chemistry make sure you get to know each other Maybe it's just not all about the physical because it's not. They're definitely attracted to you and you're attracted to them. But it's saying the attraction you guys feel is mutual. There's going to be a decision. The person's in your life for a lesson. Everyone's a lesson, so that's not that big of a deal. It's just like, what is the lesson though? Is it a, like a, what kind of lesson is it? What is this decision? Page of Cups reaching out, justice. Maybe they want you to reach out since it's the Page of Cups or to make the next move. Again, they could be reaching out to you. Yep, there you are. Emotions, deciding on how you feel, deciding if you want to take this to the next level. It's kind of feeling like though that energy, like maybe you don't trust them, you don't know if they're a player or not, you don't know how they're feeling. What is the lesson? King of Cups, they could be a water sign or they could be a fire sign. They're in love. This person might be a water sign like you or be someone who's kind of like hot and cold or they are hard to read. Maybe they're a lot like you, Scorpio, is kind of I'm getting here. Okay, how do they feel about Scorpio? They want a brand new beginning with you with Ace of Coins. They want to give you that coin. They could be an earth sign. What's coming in is a 10 of cups. They may want to get married or engaged. Because this is you holding that coin right here. So, all right, let me go to, let's go to this deck and see what they might want to say to you. What would they want to say to Scorpio? It says, I'm starting to realize the depth of our connection. I'm striving to be a better version of myself. Okay, so maybe they're working on themselves. Maybe this is someone who, you know, it was a work in progress and that's part of the lesson or the decision you have to make. Are you going to pursue this connection? And one more, I walked away before you could break my heart. So this, didn't it, this may be the hot and cold part. Maybe this person is feeling insecure about the connection. Maybe that's what you don't know. Why they're over here, the five of cups. So if they did walk away or run, maybe that's part of their fear. They're afraid you're going to break their heart, Scorpio. So you'll have to obviously discuss that. That's something important you need to know. I'm reminded of you by many things. Okay. And it says, I am mindful of what I've done in the past. I'm trying to leave it on a good note. But So there's been something here that maybe has made this person, I don't want to say you don't trust them, but you just look at them like you're not quite sure if they're in or if they're out. Like, what are they doing? I do see you having good conversations with them. I think, you know, that's came, that came up for somebody else this reading. Somebody was insecure. I don't remember if that was a collective or if that was a, one of the signs. But that actually came out that somebody was feeling very insecure about the connection. So maybe that might be possible for this person. Why are they feeling so sad? Making a decision. Two of swords. You may have had an argument. Hopefully you didn't say anything. The tower is under the deck, but um, they don't or they don't want to argue with you. What's coming in? Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Judgment, moving forward. For some of you, what's coming in with this person is some sort of relationship or engagement. Um, and you guys will be moving forward. And again, this is going slow. So maybe things heated up very quickly and then cooled off. So maybe it'd be better just to go slow. All right, Nine of Cups, Soulmate Energy, Queen of Swords. Yeah, perhaps you could be a masculine dating a feminine air sign or they could be air sign or something or again they could be a water sign like you always worry scorpio when you come out as the queen of swords that just always kind of worries me the queen of coins that's fine queen of wands perfect queen of swords oh it's because you don't trust you may not trust them the moon always shows me subconscious beliefs things under the surface but you like this person yeah, you like them. So they see this is you. They like you. You like them. Could be a Pisces, but also there's something here long term. 
definitely something here long term to explore. I think again, there's this. Everybody teaches teaches us some sort of a lesson. We gotta learn. So every relationship is work. So is it that big of a deal? Can you get past it? Maybe knowing again that this person is worried about you breaking their heart is why they walked away so quickly or something. So, all right, I'm gonna leave it there, Scorpio. Have a great week.